Hi, so I'm in Fayetteville, which is in the state of Arkansas. It is actually the second largest city here, and it had a population of over 90,000. And direct access is working in Fayetteville to help them not only achieve ADA compliance, but also be inclusive for people with disabilities. Looking at ADA parking spaces, parking meters, looking at curb ramps, crossing, external stack, entrances, signage to alternative entrances. Looking at the courthouse in the city hall, things that we look at are what's the podium like? Is there step free access for council members? Is there a hearing enhancement facility? Has the water in there? Elevator. Things we look for in the elevator down. Tactile rail to the bedding, the lighting, support rail to the back of the car, seating provision, door furniture, door width. We're also looking at signage, especially where the terminology could be updated. Stairwell, evacuation procedures, colour contrast, signage. Looking at conference rooms like this one to see if there's a hearing enhancement facility, seeing if there's a good provision of seating. We're not just looking at ADA compliance, we're also bringing in international building guidance, such as the British Standards, the Dubai University Design Code, but also the personal experience of disability. Try and come up with blue sky innovative ideas.